Hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. If you're a regular here, welcome back. You know how much I appreciate you. If you're new, I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. I normally do upload content on cooking, grocery hauls, farming videos, mainly cooking. Occasionally you'll get some other things, day in the life of and everything. Anyway, you'll get a little bit of everything here. And I would love to have you here in my kitchen on a regular basis. So, with that being said, today we're doing a special request by my husband. <laughs> my husband is Bryant. He is the pastor of a local church here in Asheboro, North Carolina. And he has requested this to go on the summertime Sunday sides. You know, the name I've given what we're doing uh, a little bit of. Now, this side is not just for summertime and it's not just for Sundays. This is a delicious side any time of the year, any day of the week. So today we're doing his favorite broccoli casserole. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the ocean. Okay, so I'm going to get the things prepared for this casserole. I'm going to steam up a bag of broccoli. We're going to get it ready. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to get the kitchen ready for me to cook in. And then we'll meet right back here at the island um, to get this casserole put together. It is so easy. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, everyone, I have everything ready behind me to put this casserole together, but I wanted to talk to you about the broccoli I used. I get a big bag in the freezer section at Sam's, and it comes with several of these size bags in the, in the big bag. So what I did was I just steamed them up, and these were broccoli flowerettes. They were kind of in bigger pieces, so I just took a knife and cut it up um, into smaller pieces. Um, but you can buy that at a regular grocery store. You can buy the broccoli cuts where you don't have to cut them up. Um, but just buy a bag of broccoli and prepare it, whether you steam it or you cook it on the stove, whatever. So, okay, we're going to move over here and put this casserole together. You're not going to believe how easy this is. 
Okay, so in my mixing bowl, I'm actually gonna go ahead and scoop out a half a cup of mayonnaise. I already have that ready for us. I'm gonna kind of put the, the liquidy ingredients in first and then we'll mix around the broccoli and so forth. Now to the mayonnaise, I'm gonna add a can of cream of mushroom. Y'all, this, this casserole is so good. It is absolutely my husband's favorite casserole. All right, I'm just going to give that a little stir. I'm actually going to bring that can back over here, and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to crack the egg in that can. And I'm going to give it just kind of a little beat here in this There we go. Plus that gets out any extra cream of mushroom that might be in there. <laughs> that helps clean your can out. Okay. So to this, I'm gonna add in about a medium onion that I have chopped up. We had um, cheeseburgers yesterday for Mother's Day and we had some sliced onions so I just saved those and then chopped them up to go with our in our broccoli casserole so now here is my plate of broccoli that I've just kind of chopped up a little bit extra switch utensils here. I'm going to go to this bigger one. And we're going to stir that up. Here's what it looks like. All right. So in here, I'm going to add one stick of melted butter. One whole stick. And to this, we're going to add in about a cup of cheese, shredded cheese. I, I don't have any block cheese to shred my own, so I'm using pre-shredded, but you use whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to eyeball a cup. This is half the bag, so we're just eyeballing. All right. And y'all, that is it almost it to this casserole. I have my oven preheating it to 350. I have my pan here that I have already sprayed with some spray. And we're just gonna put all this in here. I go through utensil phases, like sometimes I like the silicone, and right now I'm on a wooden, I'm on a wooden <laughs> utensil phase. I love my wooden utensils, but I still do use my silicone for certain things. All right, now we are just going to top this with, give me just a second, wipe my finger off. We're going to top this with a, one sleeve of crushed Ritz crackers or any kind of buttery cracker. Uh, you know, Toll House crackers would be good. 
my fingers greasy. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get them open because my fingers are greasy. Plus, I was opening them from the wrong side. But I just crush them. You can put them in a Ziploc bag and crush in the Ziploc bag if you want. I'm just not going to mess up a bag. I'm just going to do this by hand. It may take, you know, several times uh, as far as getting all the crackers out. Yesterday, we had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday at church. I actually spoke at church, and um, it went so amazingly wonderful. We, I've already heard of some um, restoration that has taken place, and that was definitely God moving. So, all right. I've just about got these crackers on here. Y'all, this is so good. Now, the stick of butter, you can actually, if you wanted to, pour it on top over the crackers. I just prefer to go ahead and put it in there because these are so buttery anyway. I just mix it in the mixture. So you can do either way you want to. All right, and if I'm looking for any big pieces that I see that need to be crumbled, not many. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, it's going in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, I think. How long do I cook this? I'll let you know for sure in just a minute. I think it's 30 minutes, but I'm not sure now. I'm questioning myself. Okay, guys, I was totally wrong on the length of time it stays in. It stays in for one hour. So I'm going to wait an hour, but you only have to wait just a brief second. Okay, everybody, the casserole is out of the oven. I just happened to see Bryant go by on the tractor. They are working hard on the farm, so he's going to come in here pretty dirty. So just overlook that because he's been working really hard. We go to the chicken houses first thing, and now he's working on hay equipment, tractors. He's been working hard. So I did ask him to swing in here and go ahead and give this casserole a taste for you guys. Now, we're going to have it for supper um, and it's a little bit early for supper, but I want to go ahead and get this video out to you guys. So we're going to have him stop in and give it a try. It smells delicious and I can't wait for him to try it. So I can try it. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Either way, it's, I want to try it. So, and I know he's going to love it because it is his favorite casserole ever. And here's the casserole. I have to laugh at these little dark bits. They're not burnt. They're just a little darker than normal. My oven has a high bake feature. And I accidentally turned it to high bake. Um, but it's totally fine. Nothing's burnt. It's delicious. Or it's going to be delicious. Okay, everybody. So before I could even get the camera turned on. Half the bowl is already gone. Excuse me, I've been out working. I've explained to him that y'all are working hard. You, him and Isaac are working really hard on the farm we're today. Putting, uh, Come this way so the glare of the wind is not We're so putting bad. new belts on the hay baler because we're this next Monday, a week from today, we'll start mowing hay. And so we're getting all the equipment ready. So, And we like to do stuff like that on Monday because I try to take Monday off from ministry so I have a full day. So, here you go. You now, I, you, I already had your bite. <laughs> now that you've had a bite, I'll take a bite. This is one of my favorite things that she makes. What was right the here. word you said after the first bite before the camera was turned on? What did I say? That's money right there? <laughs> That's money right there. That's money right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, that means it's on the spot. This casserole is so good. Really good. I've and had a lot of the rice and broccoli casseroles. But this one, I prefer this one much better. The graham crackers are cooked. No, Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers. Oh, yeah. Don't crackers. put graham crackers on Ritz, The Ritz crackers <laughs> are cooked perfectly with the right amount of texture and crunch. That that color brown is not overdone. It's really good. Look, I didn't even mention to him the mistake I made. <laughs> I had it on high bake. It's okay. It turned out right. 
Look, he's getting more. He went to the fan and got more. I can eat that whole casserole. He could. I can. I'm surprised he hadn't asked me why I didn't do two. It's bad. Normally, I make Caroline do two. So we eat one on Thanksgiving, and I leave one here for leftovers. Mm -hmm. So. All right, guys. That's perfect right there. There right. you have it. This is a perfect side dish any time of year. But. Sunday, any... summertime sides. Yep. And it can be, like I said, it doesn't have to be summertime and it doesn't have to be on Sunday. It can be any day of the week or any time of the year. So I hope you guys enjoy this and know when you make it, think about Bryant because this is his Thank favorite. <laughs> so thanks for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. We appreciate you guys. Love you. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.